hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys let me show you the error first my Wi-Fi is connected but if I want to search something on on the Google Chrome okay you can see it's not working if I open any like the Lenovo driver or the any other website it's not working and throwing the error this site can't be reached if you are getting the same error this video is for you I will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue since the Wi-Fi is connected but still getting the same issue so it's time to restart your DNS from the services okay go to Windows search bar type their services and run it as administrator and on the Windows services click anywhere and type D we need to look for DNS client okay DNS okay first you can see DSCP is here so also DSCP is responsible for the getting the IP address okay access is denied so don't worry it's already running here it's you can see here so we need to look for DNS client you can see here just you need to right click go to its properties okay okay it's running but you can see the option is blur here if you get this option to restart or the from here like restart it or stop it once and then restart it and after that check your issue is solved or not in my case I am unable to perform this step the DNS client is blur okay so it's time to hit some commands in the CMD so open the CMD run as administrator and first command we need to type here is ipconfig space slash flush DNS this will resolve all the caches from the DNS you can see the successfully flush the DNS resolver cache ok the second command you need to type here this is the command net sh ip this will reset the ip configuration ok and the third command is this this will reset the socket errors from your windows ok you can see once the command is completed you must restart your system ok so let me restart my system and then I will show you the error is gone or not okay so I have restarted my system now so let me show you if the error is gone or not okay it seems like the error is still there okay error is not solved yet so we need to go to the control panel to check if any manual IP configuration or the bed setting you have configured okay you should be getting this option category go to category select here the large icons once you select here the large icons go to internet options okay and go to advanced setting here and click on restore advanced click on apply once you click on apply go to this connection tab click on LAN settings ok and untick this option from here use the proxy server from your windows ok untick this option tick this option automatically detect settings click on apply ok we need to close this click on apply click on ok and also you need to change your DNS so press window plus R button together and type here ncpa.cpl and you can see right click and go to its properties internet protocol version 4 ok and in the alternative DNS you can see the DNS 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and in the alternative DNS 8.8.4.4 this is the Google DNS click on OK click on close and also right click and diagnose ok it is going online now ok 
ओके रिस्टार्ट अडोप्टर ओके सो इट्स रीसेटिंग नाउ द वाईफ अडोप्टर इज रिस्टार्टेड जस्ट क्लोज दिस ऑप्शन फ्रॉम हेयर एंड लेट मी चेक इफ द इशू इज सॉल्व और नॉट नाउ ओके यू कैन सी द इशू हैज बीन फिक्स नाउ सो होपफुली योर इशू शुड बी फिक्स नाउ Okay, if your issue is still not fixed, open a new tab or go to three dots here. Then click on history and click on history options and clear all the browsing data from your Google. Go to you should be getting this option. Go to advanced, select here all time. Okay, and leave only the password you have saved in the Google Chrome. Okay, once you tick all the box here, click on clear browsing data and you are good to go. After clearing your data, go to back again and go to reset setting now. This option and click on restore to defaults and click on reset. This will delete all the personal settings, but wouldn't affect the save password as well as the bookmarks. So don't worry, just try it and it will reset your Google Chrome and you are good to go. If your issue is still persist, you can reboot your router. as well as you can reinstall the fresh google chrome on your windows so hope this video is useful for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech